Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to cover a story today that just proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that not only is the world being conditioned to eventually accept the coming mark of the beast during the coming tribulation period, but that the technology is in place right now and the way is being paved for the image of the beast that will speak and cause anyone that will not worship the image of the beast to be killed. This is recently in from my friends over at Prophecy Newswatch, again, prophecynewswatch.com, recent article titled, Pathway to the Image of the Beast? Question mark. Real-time AI for artificial intelligence analysis could fulfill prophecy. Let me read some of this to you guys. Google has launched Gemini, that's what they're calling it, Gemini, a new artificial intelligence system that can seemingly understand and talk, you heard that correct, talk intelligently about almost any kind of prompt, pictures, text, speech, music, computer code, and much more. This type of AI system is known as a multi-model model. It's a step beyond just being able to handle text or images as previous ones have. And it provides a strong hint, hint of where AI may be going next, being able to analyze and respond to real-time information coming from the outside world. What really caught my attention is the first part that I just read to you guys. Again, Google has just launched Gemini, a new artificial intelligence system that can seemingly understand and talk or speak intelligently about almost any kind of prompt. Again, pictures, text, speech, music, computer code, and much more. Now, why is this so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, I'll tell you why. We know, according to Revelation chapter 13. Now, before we go into this, in context, Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church, so the rapture of the church will occur, then the Antichrist will be revealed. Once the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, that will start the seven-year tribulation period. So during the coming tribulation period, according to Revelation chapter 13, in the first part, we see the first beast rise. This is referring to the Antichrist. Then we see the rise of the second beast, another beast that rises out of the sea. This is referring to the false prophet who's going to basically be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. So when you go to Revelation chapter 13, we're going to read verses 11 to 16. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. This is referring to the false prophet. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast, referring to worshiping the Antichrist whose deadly wound was healed, and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, pay attention here, that they should make an image to the beast, an image which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast, we're talking about the image of the beast here, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. In verse 15, we read that the false prophet is granted by God to give the image life. Translated pneuma in the Greek which literally means breath. Note that the false prophet can only give it breath, but not the breath of life, as that is the power of God alone. It seems that the image has the appearance of life manifested in its ability to speak and reason. But how is this possible for an inanimate object? Until the advent of AI, artificial intelligence, and robotics 
Such a thing was not humanly possible. But now, many of the elements described by John can be mimicked with 21st century technology, such as an android and artificial intelligence robot designed to look, move, and speak exactly like a human. A geminoid, for example, is a special type of android that is not only created to look exactly like a specific person, but is also equipped with technology that allows the operator to remotely manipulate and talk through it via a wearable brain-machine interface. The geminoid can reproduce the voice and movements of the actual person in whose image it is made and even capture the remote audience's response through its built-in cameras and microphones to send back to the operator. Imagine the Antichrist having control over thousands of Geminoids worldwide, made in his own image, and being able to speak to mankind simultaneously through the Geminoids and know exactly when someone refuses to worship it. But I had to share this with you guys when I just found out that Google has just launched Gemini, which is a new AI system that can seemingly understand and talk intelligently about almost any kind of prompt, whether it's pictures, text, speech, music, computer code, and much more. This reminded me exactly of what's coming. This is absolutely part of paving the way for the image of the beast spoken of in Revelation chapter 13. Verse 15. Here's the bottom line, folks. We know the Bible describes a time in the future where an image of the Antichrist is given life to speak on his behalf. This has been a challenging passage for scholars to try and understand until now. While we can only speculate as to just what type of technology John saw when being revealed almost 2,000 years ago, the advances of AI, artificial intelligence technology, may be progressing to where an all-powerful world leader incorporates AI in some fashion that allows him to be present worldwide in attempt to copy God's omnipresence through AI technology in real time. Imagine AI, AI technology in the hands of a dictator, and you can only imagine the power at his fingertips to control the population. He could use AI to assist his role in making sure all of mankind follows his policies, including the requirement that in order to buy or sell, one must accept his mark, the mark of the beast, that will also allow for greater monitoring and control of what we can and can't buy. The main point I am trying to make is if we see the world continuing to be conditioned to eventually accept the coming mark of the beast during the coming tribulation period, we see the technology is there, not only for the mark of the beast, but for the image of the beast spoken of in Revelation chapter 13, verses 15. And we know the rapture happens before the tribulation period can even begin. The tribulation period is continuing to cast its shadow. How close is the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us 
is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.